Capricorn, hi and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I'm doing your upcoming monthly tarot. This one is going to be for January 2021. I'm going to jump right into the reading. So let me give these a few shuffles and let's see what's happening for you, Capricorn. January 2021. Happy birthday to all my Capricorns. It is your season. All right, a few more. Two more. All right, let's stop here. What is the situation for you this January? What might be a challenge? Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Your approach when it comes to this? Any external influences or people? And in the near future, what is coming towards you? Woo! Okay, Capricorn. We do have the Five of Wands at the bottom. We are definitely going to clarify. There is a heaviness. There is a heaviness and an overthinking energy. Um, again, we'll see more when we go in to clarify. The only major here, though, let me mention, is the world, and that's what's coming towards you. A closing of a big chapter here. The end of a journey here. Like, And the reason it's the end is because you've overcome the challenges. You know, there's nothing left to learn here. There's nothing left to gain here. Um, it's time to step on to the next thing situation here is the ten of wands there's a heaviness whatever the situation is this january it just feels like a weight on your shoulders maybe feeling too much burden too much responsibility you know it's 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 a heaviness on our spirit basically you know the wands represent our spirit our willpower our determination and the fire within us and there's something here that just feels heavy what might be a challenge eight of swords i mean it's a card of really overthinking it's, it's also like feeling like there's something within our circumstances that could be getting in the way, that could be interfering with our progress here. But your mind's focused on some kind of loss here, some kind of sadness here. Um, we're going to go in and clarify, so who knows. But right now there is something here that just did not turn out the way you'd hoped with that Five of Cups and it's just not feeling good. And that's what you're looking at right now. With that, your approach is the Seven of Cups. This has got you in your head here. It's definitely got you in your head. In the environment, um, hence the overthinking, right? We have the independent energy here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. You know, it's a single, t it's like my Beyonce card, right? The single ladies card. But it's a card of self sufficiency. It's a card of having more than enough that you can enjoy yourself. You can kick your feet up and enjoy some luxuries. It's that kind of energy. It's not the Six of Pentacles where it's just like, all right, things are balanced. No, this is having more than enough and you earned it, right? But it's it's also just a single independent energy. And I don't, I don't know if there was a relationship, but we'll, we'll know more as we go in to clarify. We already know coming towards you is the portal, the world, stepping through it because some chapter here has closed. So let's see what the heaviness is about with this Ten of Wands. What is the Ten of Wands for January for Capricorn? You know, I always... Okay. Ah, oh, Five of Cups again. Five of Cups again. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I... Something did not turn out here the way you'd hoped. And you were not looking for like... You know, the Seven of Pentacles is not like you were looking for some quick results here. But just, you know, it could be an investment here for some of you. Um... And, and it doesn't have to be work related, but it's something that you poured a lot of energy into with that seven of pentacles. And you're just like, I can't believe it's not giving back to me at this point. Like, you know, this is a person who's like nurturing some plants here, watering them, giving it all the love, attention and care. And then something's not growing. It didn't grow to where it should have given all that you've put into it. And it's just weighing heavy on you. You're just, you're re you're looking at the long term this month. You know, we have two sevens, we got two fives, so it just, it feels a bit challenging. Um, but the only major, let me say, is the world here. So really what's happening ultimately, this is the overarching energy. Some chapter here, you know, it's it's done because you don't need to repeat it. But it, there's a heaviness. Something was lost here. Could be a regret here. Just something is just weighing so heavy. I feel like forgiveness um, there's a level of forgiveness needed here. Not, not that you need to give forgiveness. It can be forgiveness with ourselves. Um, but there's a loss here and it's just, it's weighing on you. It is weighing on you and it has you really rethinking what, if you're going to keep investing into something, cause it's not turning out the way you'd wanted. At this point, it's feeling heavier and it's not feeling fun. Basically that's the situation this month. All right. In the challenge position is this eight of sword. 
something about the circumstances that's just making you feel like you can't get out you know it's not seeing a clear solution here you know it's just really ultimately a card of overthinking it's like our own thoughts getting in the way all right tell us more about the eight of swords yeah i see the lovers like my eye caught it um all right what's the eight of swords about for capricorn Let's stop here. Ace of Wands is at the bottom. King of Cups is here. Four of Cups is here. I think, yeah. I mean, because Eight of so it's overthinking, basically. And I just feel like instead of overthinking, what might help is the King of Cups energy. King of Cups is like mastery of your emotions. It's also being able to keep calm while things are not calm around you. You know, the Four of Cups is... I just, yeah, again, it's just something doesn't feel like fun. <sighs> I think for some of you, not seeing what might be right in front of you when it comes to a solution here. I think needing to be guided more in, with, your, with your heart here, using your inner compass, definitely being guided by your emotions. I don't know if the thoughts this month are going to help us because it is in the challenge position. And the King of Cups just has master of his emotions, just a really great ability um, to kind of put himself in other people's shoes. There's a lot of empathy and compassion and unconditional love. It's a very diplomatic energy. But I think using your heart this month and like maybe your gut and using your intuition will help navigate the situation. Because in the end, the Eight of Swords, again, is just like really overthinking it. Not it, but like overthinking, period. And with that overthinking, it's not allowing us to really see clearly actually just like this character is blindfolded right that's what the overthinking is doing but there is like you know using your intuition instead i think will really help navigate the situation where your mind is at and what you're focused on is this five of cups you can't go around it you got to go through it right um that's the truth you got to feel what you're feeling because there is a loss here and it fell two times you know so it could be you know there's levels to every card but there is a loss here. Something really did not turn out how you'd hoped and it's just, it's got a weight on you. All right, tell us more about the Five of Cups for where your mind is at and what you're focused on. You're just feeling the sadness, you know? Um, okay. Yeah, the tower is there. Um, the tower's at the bottom. Nine of Wands is here, yeah. I mean, you're trying... You're trying to be open. I can see that Capricorn because the Page of Cups is here. So you're really still trying to be open with your heart. The Page of Cups has like total open approach. All the pages do. They're very unbiased, you know. Um, it's a very sweet and playful energy as well. Maybe there was a young water sign for some of you. I don't usually say that, but all this cup here, I just feel like there could be a young water sign and that's who this happened with. They don't have to be young by age, young by energy. Um, but you're, you're, you know, you're trying to persevere, persevere here. You're keep, you're, you're fighting. What's on your mind is to keep fighting. That's really what's on your mind here. It's not you wanting to walk away, but it's testing your faith. It's definitely testing your faith. It's feeling really heavy this, this month, but it's, this is you wanting to keep fighting with the nine of wands. That's what's on your mind. You're keeping an open heart and you're still wanting to fight for this. Every relationship every relationship goes through some test there's you know there's always different kinds of tests but i think it's every relationship whether it's a business partnership whether it's your sister it's your cousin it's your mother it's your father it's your child i think every relationship goes through a test and i this is what i'm seeing with your cards this month but this is you saying i still want to fight for this and you're still keeping an open heart you're still having trust that's really great wow all right um your approach is the seven of cups Tell us about the Seven of Cups. This is you just kind of wishful thinking, right? The Seven of Cups is a very fantasizing energy. It could also be because of that, it can feel confusing. Um, I see the lovers again. Oh my God. All right. Let's reorganize, regroup, and let's clarify the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, I mean, you're still wanting to fight though, but it feels heavy and you're just like, you know, you're just like annoyed, basically, also that like, you're like, I can't believe we're not where we should be. I can't believe this turned out like this. Um, all right. 
Tell me more about the Seven of Cups in your approach. You know, and the fact that I kept seeing the lovers, I do want to say that I feel like there's this underlying energy of you following your heart. Okay. All right, we will stop here. Oh, okay. Shoveling outside. We'll stop here to clarify the Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Uh, unclear, unsure confused but definitely like you're wanting to fight here capricorn but there is a level there is a level i have to say of like really starting to look in a new direction as well open to a new direction as well open to a new direction as well let me mention that because even with the seven of cups sometimes there's a level of um ugh, we have three sevens sevens are challenging um Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, you know, Seven of Wands. They're all challenging energies, really. Um, and th three of them are here, so it just feels a bit challenging. Nothing major, but the day-to-days can feel challenging. Um, for sure, you'll get out of any energy, but just the day-to-days, you're navigating it because something did not turn out the way you'd hoped. And again, you're still wanting to fight for it. That's where your mind is at. But I, I still feel like you're entertaining a new reality here for a lot of you. I don't think you're 100% just yet. You're, you're reevaluating ultimately. The, the main energy here is you questioning should you keep putting energy into something or not. And right now I think you're considering both options. Walking away from it and cutting your losses and going in a new direction. But there's confusion around it. There's uncertainty around it. In the environment is that single energy. So let's see what this nine of pentacles is about in your environment. What's this Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn? Yeah, major chapter here. I mean, even if you, if, the, if you persevere and you decide to stay for the situation, things will not be the way they were before. That's for sure. It's like even, you know, when you break a glass and then you try to put the glass back together, the glass can work, it can still function. It will never be like it was before. Things are changing, period. All right, tell us more about the Nine of Pentacles in the environment. That's a single independent energy, let me tell you. Maybe somebody was acting single when they shouldn't, right? Um, who knows? Because it's in your environment, so. All right, let us stop here to clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, again, I said like maybe somebody was acting single when they shouldn't have because we have to clarify the single energy. Let me be really clear here. We have two cards that are not about being alone. You have the Ten of Cups. This is a happy family, happy relationships. And you have the Three of Pentacles, which is literally a card about collaborating and building something together here. And I think I think something I think that's where that Five of Cups was in, is in this environment here. I think somebody wasn't acting like they were part of the family. They were acting like they weren't part of the team here. It's just that simple for me. That's how it's coming across. Somebody was like, instead of building something together, instead of worrying about, instead of just themselves, how it might affect other people. Because the Ten of Cups is not the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is our own happiness. It's our own wish coming true. Not really anything to do with somebody else. Ten of Cups is happiness within yourself and your relationships. And I feel like somebody was just acting in ways that just disregarding how it might affect the people they love, how it might affect these other people. Disregarding what you were building together. It's, that's how it feels here. Um, coming towards you is the world. Tell us about this world coming towards you, Capricorn. Yeah, I think somebody was just acting how they should not have been acting. There is, I just feel like it's just like, I can't believe, like it's just really frustrated. It's kind of mad for some of you. Um, yeah, tell me more about the world coming towards Capricorn. Yeah, all right, two more. 
We'll stop here to clarify the world. Okay. The hermit is here and judgment. Whoa. Big decision. I mean, wow. I'm, it could be a Virgo. It could be a Scorpio. I mean, Aries. I mean, Aquarius, Leo, all of them. It's, but, um, I mean, the hermit is you doing some soul searching when it comes to the end of this chapter because you got a big decision to make. Like I said, it feels like the month of January. That's why there's overthinking because you got you got a big decision to make. You've got a big decision to make and, and it definitely is because of somebody else's actions and somebody else's behavior here in the environment. And it's just weighing heavy on you, but coming towards you is the hermit. This is... That overthinking energy, the hermit is ruled by Virgo, analytical thought. Because the hermit is here to say, you're wise enough to go within now, to do some soul searching, and to decompress these thoughts, to make sense of them, so they don't overtake your mind, so that you can really start making rational decisions, rational connections, seeing the connections. But yeah, there's a decision here, big, major, and it's, it's going to go after some soul searching. The hermit's basically saying you're going to isolate yourself from other people. Spend time with you. Spend time with your thoughts because you've got a big decision here you need to make. And it's about some chapter here closing out. And it's asking yourself, is this serving my highest good? Is it serving the highest good of all anymore? Is it good for me? All right. I'm going to leave it there for you, Capricorn. I really do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please show some love and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies and I will see you all next week for my weekly readings.